and yang! Welcome to Delightful! This piece, as you can tell from the title of the video, is the banner art for the awesome Sally Green Gamer. If you don't already know about her, you can find a link to her super fun gaming channel in the description box below. I'm starting off from a very rough black and white sketch, basically to approximate my values in the composition, although I change it a lot later. Next, I'm going right in and rendering the roses. I did reference some images of roses for my initial sketch, but when it came time to paint, I'm going off of imagination. I love to sketch plants and flowers from life, so I sort of have previous knowledge to draw from in my head. When she contacted me about making her banner, I knew this piece would be an interesting challenge for me. She wanted an abstractish piece featuring the color green, of course, that's her theme, and she also mentioned roses. But she trusted me and gave me a lot of freedom with this painting, which is really cool, but also a bit scary because as the artist, I hope I can come up with something she likes, you know? Obviously, you can tell this piece is very monochromatic, meaning its entire color palette is focused around one color. Of course, I wanted to keep the color green quite obvious, but I do end up broadening the palette a bit towards the end. You'll see me clicking on and off white guidelines. That's the space that people will see if they use a desktop computer. YouTube banners are kind of tricky because depending on what device you're using, the cropping ratio changes slightly. So most of the interest is focused in the center where people can see it. But the rare few who use the channel on a television will be able to see the whole image. So drawing beyond the border isn't a wasted effort. It might interest you to know that I worked on this a few hours at a time, so when I got up to take a break and I looked away from my computer screen, everything in the room looked red to me. <laughs> at this point, I thought the painting was looking too beautiful and not digital gamer-esque enough, you know. It needed some kind of edge to it. So I'm putting together a random assortment of colored squares on a new layer to create this pixelated texture-like layer. At first you can see it's not really working and the image is a little too green at this point, but I'll come back to it. The negative space between the roses isn't really fleshing out the way I thought it would, so I'm filling in the space with more roses and pushing them into the background by making them darker. Since I'm going to have her channel name in white, it needs to be a darker color behind it to make it stand out. In order to bring a bit more variety of color to the piece, I like to make a new layer in Photoshop and set it to color. It's an easy way to bring color to your image without losing your values. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I struggle with color, so this is a technique I use quite frequently. Lastly, to give the piece that final oomph that it's lacking, I'm putting in some bluish highlights. I should have solidified my values right at the beginning, so shame on me, but I think this final touch gave it the range of values it needed and brought a magical element to the piece. You can see I'm bringing back the pixel layer from before and smoothing out the text. And with that, Sally's banner is complete! I'm very pleased with how this piece turned out, and I hope Sally likes it too. I made this using Adobe Photoshop CS6 and a Wacom Intuos 4 tablet. If you love to create artwork as much as I do, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a super happy day! Stay artsy! Annyeong!